Welcome back. I'm joined now by Dr. Gwen Silas. She's a veterinary ophthalmologist and we have a special guest. Who's that? This is Zev. This is Zev. <laughs> How old is Zev? Zev is two and a half years old. What else can you tell us about Zev? Um, well, he's an Australian Shepherd. Yeah. Um, he is very energetic. He loves uh, chasing balls and retrieving. And, yeah. Yep. Loves chasing deer. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's one of my favorite pastimes as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're here specifically to talk about pet eye care yes. uh, and eye care for your pets. What are some tips that folks can uh, take um, home? So the biggest thing is that um, any redness uh, of the white part of the eye mm -hmm. is abnormal. Um, and so if that's something that's present, it should definitely trigger um, an appointment with your regular vet. If it's severe redness or there's a lot of squinting, mm -hmm. um, then maybe even an emergency visit. And what kind of dog breeds may be more susceptible to having uh, eye issues? So um, there are certain um, breeds that are a little bit more prone to eye issues. Mm -hmm. Um, some dogs are more prone to like dry eye issues, others are more prone to glaucoma. Mm -hmm. um, Westies, Cavaliers, Cocker Spaniels, those breeds are more prone to dry eye. Yeah. Um, Cocker Spaniels, Huskies, um, Boston Terriers are more prone to glaucoma. Yeah, and apparently that certain kinds of light can hurt your pet size as well? Yeah, so we do worry about um, UV light exposure, mm -hmm. um, potentially increasing risk of cataracts, oh. um, just like in people. Okay, and I guess what are some other tips that uh, are, are other tips that pet owners can do to kind of help alleviate their pet size? Maybe they can't get to the vet. Is there mm -hmm. are there some home remedies that people can uh, look so, into? So I mean, really, the best thing is going to be having the eyes evaluated, um, but. Dry eye um, can often be treated with artificial tears. That's generally um, a pretty safe medication to use, just yeah. a, a non-medicated artificial tear. Um, and then other things that be, can be helpful um, would just be kind of touching around the, the mm -hmm. eyes so that if you ever do need to give eye drops, they're, you know your pet's gonna be amenable to those. Those are some great tips. You can find more of those tips on our website, 13onyourside.com.